Computer Architecture tutorial. Today we'll revise the performance uh, measures. Today we'll be talking in terms of memory. So when we talked before about the CPU time, it was just the execution clock cycles times the CPU time. Today we'll introduce a new factor, which is the memory stall clock cycles. Because the CPU time isn't actually the execution clock cycles alone, it's the stalls plus the clock cycles. So, CPU time is CPU execution clock cycles plus memory stall clock cycles times the, CPU, the clock cycle time. So, what's the memory stall clock cycles factor we introduced? The memory is actually read and write. If we uh, translated that in terms of assembly, it would be load and store. So it's actually the read stall cycles plus the write stall cycles. Together, collectively, are the memory stall clock cycles. So let's take again the read stall clock cycles. The read stall clock cycles are the total reads per the program times the read miss rate times the read miss penalty. Seems logical. But the write stall clock cycles is a bit different. It's actually the writes per program times the write miss rate times the write miss, miss penalty times another uh, plus another factor. Sorry. So this is identical to this. But what's that factor? It's the write buffer stalls. The, the, in, in, in the write process, sometimes we need a buffer in order to uh, write to the memory. So when the buffer is full, we should stall. A buffer is uh, as simple as uh, something which is um, taking taking the, the like, like a flow from a high speed a high speed thing which is the cache to a low speed thing which is the memory. So this should pass like in a flow if we have a funnel high speed to low speed. So the stalls here are where the uh, buffer is full so if we assume there is no uh, right buffer actually the memory stall clock cycles would be the memory accesses per program whether it's read or write times the miss rate whether it's read or write times the miss penalty and if we translated that what's the memory access per program it's actually the instructions per the program times misses per instruction times the miss penalty okay so let's define a new measure this new measure is the average memory access time the average memory access time called uh, amat is actually the time for a hit plus the miss rate times the miss penalty so uh, what, what, what do we need to access the memory? Uh, recall the cache, the cache thing. Uh, we had either a cache hit or a cache miss. If the cache hits, so we're fine. If there is a cache miss, there we have a miss penalty. The miss penalty is multiplied times the miss rate and added with the time for a hit to collectively get the AM80 measure. Thank you. Uh, an example is following this uh, demonstration.